Today, I'm gonna to be taking you through two of my favorite recipes to use when I'm meal prepping. These are quick, simple, tasty, and they're on a budget. So I managed to pick up most of these ingredients from Aldi for just over 20 pound. That comes in with an average price of just over two pound per meal. So the meals I'll be taking you through are a classic chicken, rice, and veg, and an easy pasta dish that you'll be able to add your own twists to suit your liking. Right, so let's get into the first meal. Firstly, you want to preheat your oven to around 180 degrees fan. Next, we're going to season the chicken. So first, I added around three teaspoons of smoked paprika, three teaspoons of garlic granules, three teaspoons of oregano, two teaspoons of thyme, two teaspoons of hot chili powder. So you can pretty much choose whatever spices that you want, but I added a mild and smoky barbecue mix. Lastly, I add a bit of salt and pepper. Then you're going to want to mix up all these spices and herbs in a bowl until they are well combined. And that is the seasoning done. So today I'm using five chicken breasts as I'm preparing five meals. And you're going to want to trim any excess pieces on the chicken breasts. Once you've trimmed your chicken breasts, you want to put them in a bowl. Next, you're going to want to add your seasoning to the chicken breasts and make sure they're well combined. Don't be afraid to use your hands. Make sure that seasoning gets all over the chicken. In a separate bowl, add around 150 grams of breadcrumbs. You can choose whatever breadcrumbs you like. Then juggle three eggs. Crack two eggs in a bowl. Whisk the eggs until they're fully combined. Line a baking tray or you can use a non-stick low calorie spray. Then dip your chicken in the egg wash and coat it with breadcrumbs until it is fully covered. Once the chicken is covered, lay it on a baking tray. Repeat this step for all of the chicken breasts. Then you want to put your chicken breasts in the oven for around 25 minutes. Next we're going to prepare our veg. I'm using green beans but you can use whatever veg you like. So here I'm just trimming the ends of the green beans. Next I peeled three medium carrots and chopped them into small chunks. I then finely chopped some spring onions and one clove of garlic. On a medium heat I added a splash of olive oil and I'm going to cook these beans for around 8-10 to 10 minutes until they are soft. I added a good sprinkle of garlic granules to my beans just to make them taste a bit nicer. Now I'm going to start preparing for the next meal. Firstly bring a large saucepan of water to the boil. Add the carrots to a food processor and pulse until they are finely chopped. To the carrots I added a teaspoon of thyme, a teaspoon of crushed chilli flakes and a teaspoon of basil. Next in a large frying pan on a medium to high heat I added a splash of olive oil and added the carrots to the pan. Keep stirring until they begin to soften. Add the spring onions and the garlic to the carrots and keep stirring for another couple of minutes. Make sure to keep stirring your beans so they don't burn. When the carrots are softened, I added 500 grams of turkey mince, which is 5% fat. Here, you can add whatever mince you like. You can add chicken mince, pork mince, beef mince, or even corn mince if you're a vegetarian. Break up the mince and stir into the carrot mixture. Add a pinch of salt to your boiling water and add 500 grams of pasta of your choice. Cook the pasta to the packet instructions, but I cook mine for around 10 to 12 minutes. Cook for another couple of minutes until the mince has started to brown. After another couple of minutes, add a good splash of balsamic vinegar to the pasta mix. I then added around a tablespoon of tomato puree. Next, add around 400 grams of tomato passata and stir through the pasta mix. Turn down the heat on the pasta to around a medium heat and simmer for around 10 minutes. Then you can add some salt and pepper to taste. When the green beans are soft, put them on a plate and set them aside. Now the pasta is nearly done, so I added around half a bag of spinach. Trust me, this might look like a lot, but it shrinks down to basically nothing. Next, cook your rice to the packet instructions and distribute into your meal prep tubs. Once the pasta is cooked, drain the excess water. Mix in the pasta with the mince and the sauce and stir through until warm. 
Check that the chicken is cooked and distribute into your meal prep tubs. Do the same with the green beans. Do the same with the pasta and you can decide your portions depending on your overall goal. Full recipes and nutritional information will be in the description down below. And that is both meals done. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and drop it a thumbs up. So from me and my meals for the week, I'll see you in the next video.